Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an effect similar to this one here, like a double vision pop pop art effect. Um, kind of like a 3D glasses effect too, which I've done if you search on my channel, but this one's a little bit different. So the first thing you want to do is find a picture that you want to use. I'm going to use this picture here of this woman holding an um, umbrella. This works kind of well with a full body images, like an image of a full person, but it can work on any photo if you want. So once you have your original photo, it doesn't have to be black and white, but I think this effect looks cool if it is. So you're going to go to image adjustments. I'm just going to use the desaturate tool. After this, you can go to Image, Adjustments, Levels, and kind of increase the contrast a little bit. We're going to do that by pulling the rightmost slider down a little bit to bring the highlights up and the leftmost slider in a little bit. So if we squeeze this, the input levels together, it'll let Photoshop use less of a range from black to white so it's going to end up looking more contrasted. The next thing you want to do is right click on your layer and duplicate that layer or use the shortcut command J. So on the layer on top you're going to go to image adjustments hue saturation and then you're going to click colorize. I like you can use any color you want. I'm going to use a blue. And then turn the saturation up to about 70. You can play around with it depending on your photo. Then you can also adjust the lightness depending on your photo. Um, you just want it to be you want to see a lot of the color you picked. So like this wouldn't really work, but this would because it's going to have a completely white background. You don't want the background of your photo to be the color and the shape of your object to not be the color. I mean, they would all achieve different effects, but for this effect, it's going to look nicest with a nice clean line there. So I turned my lightness up about 20. Now you're going to set the blending mode of that layer to multiply. So at first, it it's kind of a different effect altogether at first, but what you want to do is grab your move tool, hold shift to keep the proportions, and move it a little bit to the right or left, whichever way you want. I'm going to move it to the right. Now there's a couple ways you can deal with this clipping here. How I'm going to do it is I'm going to go to edit, free transform, I'm going to hold shift and I'm just going to stretch stretch it so that the there's no line, there's no edge there, it just fills in. But you can also create a layer create a uh, a layer mask. So layer layer mask reveal all and then on the layer mask grab your paintbrush tool use a nice soft brush so all hardness all the way at zero and depending on how large your picture is a pretty large brush and so let's say for example I don't want certain areas to be double visioned like this helicopter here I can paint black on that layer mask and it will disappear so if you saw those edges, you could kind of paint black and softly make them disappear. Um, so that's just a way to fine tune it if you want. You can brush out and in certain parts if you want to keep the image nice and clean how you like. But once you're happy with the final effect, that's it's a pretty simple double vision effect. Um, the main keys of it working well are just having a nice kind of 
very light background and dark foreground so that you can clearly see the lines. And then from there it's just adjusting the details. You can also duplicate this as many times as you want. So I just did a, a one, but you can do like another one to the left of it, like so. Again, I'm going to stretch it to the right to finish up that line. And then I can even change the color of this by image adjustments, hue saturation. And you can do like a two color effect. You can even lower the opacity on one of them. So you can play around with this effect however you like. But you'll see this used in, in a lot of popular posters and whatnot. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment letting me know if you had any questions or what you want to see in the future. Until next time.